Welcome everyone to Tesla Owners Day and we have a special opportunity to talk with Neville, the founder and chief strategist officer of Reviver. I don't know if you've seen their plates. I'm personally a huge fan. I'm going to be putting one on my Cybertruck, uh, which some of you have may have seen, but uh, it really just changes the complete look of your car. It really takes it into the future. As we know, the Cybertruck looks like the future and with the Reviver plate, it looks even more like the future. It complements it so well. Uh, but this is not about my truck. This is about Reviver um, and how they're changing um, the game when it comes to license plates and, and launching the, digital, the first ever digital license plate. Uh, but uh, Neville, can you just tell us a little bit about the founding story? Like, what was the idea behind Reviver and why did you start it? That's a great question. Um, 2008, head of marketing company, everything was moving you know, in a particular path, and then the economy flatlines. So I have a, a dear friend I was having dinner with uh, in San Francisco, and I was telling him, listen, I need to get into a business that regardless of what's going on with the economy, um, people have to do something. Yeah. And fortunate for me, unfortunate for him, he had uh, gone to the DMV, uh, a couple weeks earlier and was just complaining about how inefficient it was and all the issues that he ran into. So as we were looking at underutilized assets the state owned, it struck. License plate. Every year you've got to update it. Nobody likes going to the DMV. Mm -hmm. If we could do it over air, it would, it would solve a huge problem yeah. and, and open up a tremendous opportunity. Yeah. So that was like, that was the idea behind it. Yeah. And then from there, we were lucky enough to get a meeting with the deputy director over legislation for the California DMV. And what wow. we thought was going to be a five minute meeting ended up being an hour and a half. Wow. And because <laughs> they were looking in 2009 to have a bigger online presence. So timing and opportunity just came together. Yeah. Uh, well, first off, I, I hate going to the DMV. So first <laughs> off, thank you for coming up with a product that helps me avoid that, that, that big, uh, waste of time, to be honest, it's become so painful, but that may answer part of the question, but what were you looking to solve? Like what barriers did you want to remove as far as like even uh, launching a digital license plate? Okay, the first barrier was, I don't want to have to go to the DMV. I want to be <laughs> able to be at home and update my plate. So yeah. that's number one. Yeah. Number two, once I started looking at where the opportunities were, I realized that this industry hadn't been updated in decades. So there was a huge opportunity to do something special, yep. to be able to have services that are digitally tied to a plate that everywhere in the world is the same. You go to Timbuktu, you go to Paris, France, you go to Bakersfield, California, <laughs> and everybody has a license plate that they use for identification on the vehicle. If you're able to update that process and make it easier for yep. people to have kind of their digital print attached to their plate, it's a game changer. Yep. And that's what's been that's been what's been so excited about the technology is it going from an idea in a deck to a pre-prototype <laughs> yep. to a prototype to seeing it on the road. Yeah. Coming down here uh, from um, Northern Cal up in uh, up in Cameron Park I passed probably 10 plates really? coming down. Yeah. Absolutely. It's almost and, like seeing Teslas. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you want it to be. Yeah. You want it to be yep. looked at, it's just connected, because as you have smart cars and as you use apps, you use the same thing to be able to update it, and it's just the next version, next iteration of where technology is going. Yeah. So, I mean, what I what I love about Reviver is the fact that you you see a problem that is painful. Going right. to the DMV can be a very painful process, and you wanted to make a solution for it. And so, that's just awesome. It, like, it's something that should just work, right. right? That's like the Tesla philosophy. Yep. It's just it should just work, and so. Um, for you guys to bring the Reviver plate to the market, um, especially in California where DMVs have been impacted, I mean, um, to the point where you have to wait sometimes weeks, if not a month, to just get a, an appointment, it's a, it's a game changer. Right. But what are some of the key functions and um, features on the Reviver plate that you're most proud of? Okay, so the first thing, the first thing that it has to do is update your registration. So you could actually register your vehicle on the last day and have that updated. So that's something that people lose. You get you get it in the mail and you're not thinking about it and then all of a sudden it's due. 
and you've got to do something. So you can do that through our app seamlessly. Second thing that you want to do is also personalize it. And one of the things that we're able to do with the plate is that you, like your vehicle, is a personal stamp. It, it, it talks mm -hmm. about who you are as a yeah. person. So being able to personalize the plate and put messages or phrases that are impactful to you is important. Totally. And then we are doing things like we have a tolling feature where you can pay your tolls through the plate, you know, that's, which is which crazy. is amazing. Yeah. And if your vehicle is stolen, we can put stolen on the plate. So there wow. is a public safety good that's tied to the technology as well. And yeah, then we're, and then if you we have two versions we have one that's battery operated one that's um, that's wired yep. you have a wired version and you have a fleet you're able to track track your vehicles it has GPS it has an accelerometer and has functions and features that make it easier for you to do the things that you need to do in a seamless yep. manner. You you know I, I love the the fact that you know it gives you an opportunity to stand out yes. right like everyone's used to the boring like nine five A B C whatever. Right. But now you can actually put like I could put testasiliconvalley.com right. or I could do Mars Rover, I could right. say Minecraft Pixel. I mean you can literally like just put anything that kind of speaks about who you are and Absolutely. personalize it. And then I love the the safety aspect to it yeah. because um, cars being stolen is is somewhat of a normal cadence. Uh, it happens in California, especially in certain parts of the Bay Area. Right. And so to be able to flag it as stolen versus someone being able to like take your car and joyride and, and take the parts out of it, at least maybe there's someone that will see it on the road and, and be able to kind of flag it, right? No, it, it really yeah. has. And we've been able to get uh, several vehicles back, you know, that have been stolen with digital plates on it to be able <laughs> to be crazy. tracked. So that's, yeah. it's, it's a huge benefit. It's yeah. a huge benefit. What would you say are the, um, the biggest advancements that you've had to, to really tackle um, in, in starting this type of technology? Okay, so the first one is for people to, to know that we're here. And, and, and it's kind of a funny thing. And, and it's it, the, the whole story around Elon Musk and, um, and SpaceX reminds me of our story, our beginning story. It took, what, 10, 15 years for them to actually get about 65% of the market. Wow. It's taken us, we started the company in 09. Yeah. So it's taken us 15 years to get to this point. Yeah. And what it's done is that we now have relationships with every DMV across the country. Yep. We're currently selling in California, Arizona, Michigan, and Texas for commercial fleets. Cool. But we have legislation that we've passed in, in, um, in, in, in Florida, in Colorado, in Illinois, and in Georgia, in addition to these four states, and then we're also working in new ones as well. So we're looking by the end of uh, 2026 to be uh, in all 50 states in some form or fashion. Wow, yeah, well, advancing quickly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, sometimes it takes a minute or years sometimes to stick. Right. And so um, I know ever since I got my first Tesla, Reviver has just been around. And right. it's just been one of those things where um, I, I saw it and it just sticks out. It looks good. It looks great. It complements the car, specifically Tesla, very well. Right. So um, how would you say, how does Reviver comply with vehicle regulations and standards? So that was the first thing that we wanted to make sure that was done. We actually work with a group called AMVA. It's the Automobile Administrators for the U.S. and Canada. They set up best practices for DMVs and law enforcement in North, North America. And we've been a part of that organization for 10 years. Mm, and awesome. I have a monthly meeting with them on best practices and things that are going on to make sure that we're, we have alignment. And they set the standards for plates, readability, and everything else, and we match all of their standards. So we set our goals for how our plate operates based on the gold standard of license plates and technology and best practices, yeah. you know, through AMVA. Yeah, so you're almost in step with them, right? You're not, missing a, not missing a beat. And then one other thing, we set up, we have a law enforcement liaison. Uh, his name is Kip Loving. He's been able to train over 35,000 law enforcement professionals all over the country about wow. digital plates and connected vehicles. Yeah. So we are taking it to the next level. Yeah. Like we understand the importance of communication, making sure the left hand and right hand know what's going on. Yeah. And with him as part of the team, it's opened up tremendous opportunities for one, people to know about us before yeah. we get to their state, but them to know that we've gone through the compliance necessary to be on the road. Yeah, no, that's that's awesome. Especially you're staying ahead of it, right? Because it's also too probably not an easy industry to to, to meet all the regulations. Right. It's, 
the amount of probably regulations and laws that they have uh, for vehicle registrations insane. Um, so in the kind of the Tesla world, right, like we, we know that autonomy is the future potentially and really how many lives it's going to save. I mean, that's really right. the thing, right? It's, it's the drunk driver that's driving. If they're using autonomy, uh, it's going to save lives. Right. Um, when you think of Reviver and mass adoption, what yep. do you like? What's in your vision? What's what do you think of? What are the biggest benefits? What I see is, is if you move from California to Texas or you move from California to Arizona or you move from California to New York, you want to be able to have your plate seamlessly go with you. Yep. And what what I love about the Reviver technology is that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We are connecting into the DMVs to have a streamlined way for That's you to awesome. be able to update your registration and data and information so that it travels with you. So you should never have to go into the DMV to update your registration for another state that you move to. Yeah. What you want is that we have wedged ourselves in the information flow when it comes to compliance so that we're able to do this seamlessly for you, yep. you know, through you doing one or two steps. And I think that's the beauty of what the technology is, yeah. is that we are, are integrated just like the vehicle. What we're looking to do long term is to have the, the plates built into the vehicle yep. so that it's, it's basically powered by a reviver, yep. but it's already in the vehicle. So it goes through the entire life cycle of the car. What, yeah. what I love about reviver is the fact that it's gonna, it, it goes with you. Yes. So knocking on wood, hopefully, I'm not planning on leaving California. It's, it's beautiful out here, but if I did, um, it can go with me Absolutely. and it's a seamless process, yes. you know? Um, and as we know, like in t with technology and all the advancements and kind of personal information being a big deal nowadays, yep. uh, when you think of security and privacy, how is Reviver tackling um, security and privacy in, in general? And, and is that, obviously that's an important part of the DNA of Reviver, right? 100%. But, how are you guys tackling that and thinking about that? Okay, so when GDPR came out and then CCPA, you know, Consumer Privacy Protection you know, Act, our focus was to make sure that our technology uh, hewed to those standards. So we've been, I think, a leader when it comes to making sure that people's privacy and information is sacrosanct and, and held you know, closely uh, and that you have access to all your data. Yep. You, the user, has the access. So, you That's know, awesome. for us, it's always important to make sure that we're looking out for it. We do uh, stress tests on our systems to make sure that our information is tight. And, you know, more than that, we're really just always thinking about how we can continue to protect the individual and their, yeah. their information. We, are, we look at it from the perspective of Apple, not like Facebook. Yeah. And from the, for the perspective of you own your data, you control your data, that information is yours. Yeah. No, that that's key, um, just in general, right? Because you you do have the the reviver has a lot of information, yeah. and to be able to protect that and stay ahead of that is is important. Absolutely. Um, as we know, even with Tesla and their mission, it's all about sustainability, sustainable uh, transportation, sustainable energy. Um, can you tell us about how having a digital plate is um, environmentally friendly and how Reviver uh, potentially even takes that into consideration? Like the box that it comes in, uh, I would say probably 90% of the parts are all recyclable. Yeah. So the, the big thing for us is that you want to be in a position where you're thinking about the environment and, and waste going in there. Um, the metal plates, you know, aren't, aren't necessarily recyclable in the yeah. same way. So uh, we're, we're proud of that and we're going to continue to be and, and look for that to be an issue. The thing about the plate that's nice is that when you think about a metal plate, if you were going from, um, you've got a temp tag to your, to, to your permanent plate, if you decided to get a specialty plate, that's another, that's another plate. With our technology, that's just a JPEG file that's yeah. downloaded. So yeah. your one plate is the plate that you use throughout the life cycle of the vehicle. Yeah, and especially in the future, if you got if you get access to all 50 states and it just continues to transfer with you over. Absolutely. Uh, it goes with you. Um, what would you say in, in um, how would you say, it, as much as you can share, um, the digital license plate, I mean, what you guys have done, it's already, you know, 15 steps forward from where literally the metal license plate. Right. But how do you see Reviver plate potentially evolving in the future? Okay, so this is a crazy thing. When you think about our technology, I think about it like Ring as well. 
Yeah. So the doorbell worked, okay? <laughs> yeah. It worked on your house. Yeah, yeah. But when you got a ring, you realize like, hey, I don't actually have to go to the door to talk to somebody. Yes. I can actually use yes. the technology that's, that's there oh, to my see goodness. who's there and then be able to communicate with them yeah. whether I'm at home or I'm a thousand miles away. Yeah. So when I think about the Reviver technology, I think about nothing but blue sky because yeah. I think about you taking care of your, your parking through the plate. It's your tolling. It's payments that you can make through the plate. Yep. And, 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 then it's, and then it's data and information that allows you to utilize the platform. Where Apple was really successful wasn't the iPhone. It was the $100 million that John Doerr invested in the App Store. The App Store makes, yep. the, makes, makes the phone and the platform rich. That's what our deal is. Our platform, the ability to have information and data that you can, that you can utilize is game changing. Because think about services that you want. What if you wanted a specialty plate and you didn't want to have to necessarily go to the DMV to do that? Yeah. Th those are the kinds of things that we're working That's on now and looking in the future so that you can personalize it, update it, and not have to get an actual metal plate, but actually go through the entire process. Having digital services through a digital platform yeah is huge yep and we're the only ones that can do it because we have the plate on the back of the car yep. that is able to communicate that information real time wow you um you painted the picture so well on on just the blue skies the trees like pretty much anything that is possible with the reviver plate in, in the future so um yeah i'm just getting goosebumps just thinking about it um how would you say in general how is the how is reviver th this digital license plate really changed the automotive industry um, and beyond in general? Well, I look at it from this perspective. We've got a partnership with Ford for right now, and we're gonna be working with other folks. One of the reasons that I think they were interested in is I think over time, this will be built into all the OEMs. So whether it's Tesla, whether it's Ford, whether it's Toyota, Mercedes, you name it, you build the plate into the vehicle, so the, the, vehicle, the plate is with the, with the vehicle through its entire life cycle. Then, as you need additional services, you have the ability to know real time what's going on with that vehicle. So I see the future of this being built in. Uh, you'll always need, I think, for a certain amount of time, uh, the ability to have an aftermarket. Yep. But I think it's gonna be built into the vehicle and then the platform is where the real value is held. Wow. Yeah, no, that's, uh, I mean, you, you have had an incredible journey. And as, as we know, as you kind of mentioned with SpaceX and, um, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit to stick, but right. I mean, honestly, uh, it just makes sense. It just works. Right. And it really, it takes the painful parts of uh, <laughs> updating your vehicle registration and removes it. And so um, I just want to personally thank you so much for what you're doing because you're going to save me time. <laughs> I feel like I should pay you. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I'm really just excited for, you know, what, what the future holds for you guys and hopefully just seeing you uh, being able to make it into cars, being able to make it into every state. Um, and also, thank you so much for your partnership. Listen, man, this has been an absolute pleasure. Um, getting you guys, having you guys as a partner is, is a game changer. And uh, your, your energy, your activity, the following that you guys have is second to none. And we're happy to be a partner, a good partner, and, and, and look forward to what the future holds. Yeah. Well, thank you, Neville, for, the, for your partnership. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more from our partnership and more about what Reviver is doing and how they're going to save you not only time, uh, um, but how they're changing the digital license plate game and, and really beyond. Uh, thanks for watching.